Hey everyone, it's Mimi. Welcome back to my channel. I know it has been forever since I have posted a video. Life has gotten really hectic and I had to take some time off because work got pretty crazy. And then um, the last few months I've been trying to launch my new website. I apologize for all the sounds you're going to hear. Apparently when I do decide to do a video, all the noises come out. So you might hear some neighbors. Um, I do apologize for the little whirring sound. My turner, my cup turner is um, being utilized right now. So I will try to get through this as fast as possible so that you don't have to deal with these sounds. And I'll try to edit out as much as I can. But um, that's where I've been the last, I don't know, six, seven months. It's I've never gone this long without posting a video, but like I said, life just got in the way. I really have not that. crafted a lot except for trying to get ready for my website launch as well as um, just doing some custom orders. So with for... that being said, um, the main purpose of this video was to just let you guys know that um, I am still here. I do plan on bringing out some more content in the new year. Um, the other part is that I received some happy mail a long time ago and I'm finally getting around to opening it. Um, this has not been open to date. So Christine, hi Twinsy. Um, I'm so sorry this has taken so long but she also did send me something recently for the holidays. So um, let me just go ahead and jump into what she put in this lovely Happy Meal box. Let me just show you really quick. As soon as I open the box, keeping the mystery alive, but so cutely decorated. So I'm just going to take all this out, put it on the table, and then I'll share with you guys what she sent me. Okay, I've pulled everything out. So many cute things here, and of course, she has packaged everything up so beautifully, so let's jump right in. So cute! Okay, she said press on the bottom and pull apart to open. Oh, how cute! So cute! Look at these cabochons! Can you guys see those? They have the little rhinestone and the flower. There we go. So cute and I love this little containers. If you know anything about me, I am all about containers and I have an obsession, but so cute. Looks like more Hello Kitty items. Look at this super cute bag. I love the feel of this bag. Is this from Daiso? So more Hello Kitty items. Excuse that glare. Here's some pencils. Super cute nail stickers and I can totally use these on um, some epoxy pens with the Hello Kitty theme. Super cute. Super cute erasers. And I actually do use erasers on a regular basis. Super cute notepad and it's magnetic so I can put this on my fridge and use it to jot down groceries or whatnot. So thank you so much Twinsy. Okay, let's go to this and I always save the seam binding that she sends because I'm a hoarder. I can't help it. Look how cute and sparkly this card is. And I love this gingerbread person. I believe she's been designing for my creative time. And how adorable is that? And who doesn't love a shaker? That is her information on the back. So cute. 
I'll be adding this to all the other cards that she has made me. And here is a pillow box. Whatever paper she used, it looks actually like printed fabric. I don't know if you guys can see that. But super cute. The vintage style Valentine's decorations. And I'm really glad that she wrapped this since uh, I've had this package forever. So, but thank you so much. Let's open this up next. Hmm, is this a card? It is another one of Christine's beautiful Chevy Chic cards. I have these all over my room. That is so beautiful. I don't even know what paper collection this is. But I love the way that she layers and even uses some of these like Prima um, resin pieces. Gorgeous butterfly here. Just the attention to detail is just spectacular. So beautiful. Thank you so much, Christine. So this is my birthday card. And she was saying she was sorry you're so late. We're always late, but we're never forgotten. Right, Christine? So uh, Okay, that is so stinking adorable. Did you actually make, look how tiny this tiny tassel is, this paper tassel. Oh my goodness. This is so stinking adorable with the complete luggage tag and everything. Oh, and she put little feet on here with some pearls. How cute. So let's see what's inside. Christine, seriously, you wrapped every single thing up in plastic. I'm going to leave this in here, but it's some hand sanitizer and we can never have too much of that these days, right? And of course, it's blue. Thank you so much and I love this super cute purse. It'd be great as like a little gift card holder. I'm sure a gift card would fit perfectly in there. Super cute. Thank you. All right, here's the next one. I'm going to have sequins for days. So these are so cute and these will keep my footsies warm while I'm crafting at home. So thank you so much. These are so adorable. Okay, last but certainly not least, this one's a bit heavy. If nothing else, everything was preserved since you had, um, Wrapped everything up in bags. Look how gorgeous. And for the most part, I usually just take it out to show you guys, but I like to keep everything intact. I can't help it. It is so pretty. Do you guys just see? And then my card perfectly coordinates with it. Ta-da! So beautiful. Okay. Let's see. That's so funny. I'm like, why does this look so familiar? She got me some um, BJ's glitter. And if you guys don't know, I did use to design for them using their glitters. I still use their glitters. They are fantastic. And the two women that own this shop are absolutely amazing. So um, I think it's glued in here. Yeah. But... This is what the glitter color is. I love it. Never can have enough blue glitter. How cute. So she also loves to do miniature stuff like I do. But this is just one of those like plastic. Um, you can store beads and stuff in it. There's some blue like cellophane type glitter. Of course, I don't want to use it, but look at this super cute topper. I mean, just the little tiny attention to detail. 
so cute and i don't want to ruin this package oh i can take it out from the underside So it looks like she used a die. And look at this. She puts little charms on here. And uses a safety pin with a little rhinestone buckle. This is gorgeous. How can I ever use this? I love vintage stuff like that and it's so beautiful oh some more glitter so pretty this is more chunky but they go together perfectly thank you so much Christine and here's one of her decorated bags Stuff that I would never think of doing. Super cute. Just the little touches. And in here is a mix. Did you put this on here? It says XOXO. And it's a whole mix of like clay pieces and sequins and shapes so cute and it's in a glass jar and then so look at this how cute that is anyway so here are some pearls super tiny pearls I love these and you can take your Copic markers and make them any color you want if you need to. And these tags, these are so cute. These are from KS Craft. I do not have these. These are super cute. So you can use the interior or the outer, like um, the doily detailed one. I don't even know why I can't speak right now, but super cute. Thank you so much. And so cute. What is this? Oh my god. These are the mini bow dies from My Creative Time. These are so adorable. I don't want to rip this. So look how cute. What I love about Emma's dies are that they're all stitched. These are so stinking adorable. Thank you so much, Twinsy. You went above and beyond. Didn't have to go through all this trouble, but I so appreciate it. And I appreciate you. Let me go ahead and push some of this stuff out of the way to share with you guys what she recently just sent me. Alright, here is what she recently sent me. So cute. And OMG, that is the cutest stinking card. I love it. She even made the gingerbread cookie look like it um, had a dusting of flour. Super clever. And she made a shaker. Seriously, if I can make everything into a shaker and it'd be as easy as it should be and not as hard as I make it to be, I would make shakers every day. But let me go ahead and read this. Uh, thank you so much, Twinsy. I love this card. I hit the jackpot with this package. I got like... 30 cards in here and look at this I think this was one of her like design team items but <laughs> this gingerbread is so stinking cute I'm gonna have to go get it has a little stamped wishing you a merry little Christmas and you guys know if you've watched me for a while I love to mention so these are so stinking adorable and I believe this is Frank Garcia's collection but these little added touches are so sinking adorable. I love it. She has a little tag on here. And she used some glitter to like frost out the top of the bow. 
and there is a peppermint spoon which I've never seen this before and some hot cocoa and some chocolate which I will be enjoying but thank you so much Twinsy from the bottom of my heart I hope that you and your family had a great Christmas as well and I hope that you had a fantastic birthday I actually got three cakes this year so that was a treat but um, I am blessed and thankful for everybody that is in my life and the yeah. kind and thoughtful people that I surround myself in my everyday life. So with that being said, again, thank you so much, Twinsy. I heart you and wait for your package. It will be sent out this week. And um, just to let you guys know, I will post a link to my new website down in the description box below. Make sure to go check it out. I will be launching the first of the year. So this video is going to come out um, less than a week before I fully launch. But um, any support would be greatly appreciated. Um, writing reviews for anything. If you have purchased anything from me, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. But go ahead and check it out. Let me know. Give me your feedback. And I will also post a link to Christine's channel if you haven't done so already. Go over there. Run and subscribe. She is a fantastic crafter as you can see super super adorable and beautiful projects but thank you guys for stopping by i promise i will not be gone for as long as i have been but i will be back real soon in the new year with some new announcements and some new projects and tutorials and just i'll be on here a lot more than i have been but I hope everybody has had a fantastic and very Merry Christmas if you do celebrate it. And I hope everybody has a brand new start to a great year when um, New Year's comes this coming week. And until next time, bye everyone.